In this video, we're going to be learning how we can create patterns in Adobe Photoshop. So welcome back to Adobe Photoshop here on My Design Class. Do make sure you've got Photoshop open next to you so you can follow along with the tutorial. And what we're going to do is dive right in into how we can make patterns. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is create a very simple mock-up of a pattern that we might want to use. So first of all, what I'm going to do is actually create some guides so it's easier for us to actually measure out where our pattern is going to be. So in order to create our guides, what I'm going to do first of all is actually bring up our rulers. So all you have to do is press Command and R on our keyboard or Control and R for Windows. Or you can go to View and then make sure there's a tick next to rulers here. But what we're going to do is actually create the guides by just holding and dragging on the rulers, dragging out a line and snapping this to the edge of our canvas. I'm going to do the same for the top, for the bottom, and then also on the right. Then I'm also going to create two just for the center. So I'm just going to drag to the middle. And as you can see, it will snap to the center of our vertical plane. And then the same for the horizontal and just leave it there. Now the pattern I'm going to be creating is just a very simple symmetrical brush pattern. If you want to learn more about symmetry and brushes and how they work together, then I've already done a video on this in the past and I'll make sure I leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check that out. But in order to do it, all we're going to do is press B on our keyboard to bring up the brush tool. I'm going to quickly create a new layer because as you can see, my background layer is a smart object and anyway, I want to keep it separate from our background. I'm then just going to quickly decrease the size of my brush and just increase the hardness to 100%. Then what I'm going to do is select a new color. So I'm just going to go to a color picker. I'll probably go for, let's go for a light blue. Something like this and then press OK. Then what I'm going to do is go to the butterfly icon at the top here for our brush parameters. And then I'm just going to quickly choose mandala. And then I'm going to input six and OK. Then I'm just going to quickly scale this to the size of our canvas, like so. Press on the tick at the top. And now I'm just going to quickly draw a random pattern that we can use. OK, great. So there we have our very simple pattern. As you can see, it's just completely made up and hopefully you spend a bit more time on actually creating an interesting pattern. But just for the purposes of this tutorial, it's just something a bit more interesting than just a box or something. So what I'm going to do next is actually hide the background layer. So I'm just going to press on the eye icon here. Now, in order to create the pattern itself, sometimes you want to make a selection. For example, if you only want to pattern a particular area of your design, so for example, only the bottom left hand corner of this pattern, then create a selection of this area just by using the marquee tool or any of the other selection tools and then follow these next steps in this process. So in order to actually create a pattern, in this case, because I want to use the entire canvas as an example, I'm actually not going to have to create a selection. So there's basically two ways in which we can create the pattern itself. We can either go to edit and then go to define pattern. And then from here, we can choose our pattern name. I'm just gonna quickly cancel that and show you the second way you can do it. So this next way, you can actually go to the patterns panel itself. So on the right hand side where we have color at the moment, three along, it says patterns. And if we press on this panel, as you can see, we bring up the patterns panel. And this basically shows all of the patterns that you currently have. You have some defaults that come with Photoshop, so you can use those if you want. Now, in order to create a pattern from this panel, first of all, what you can do is create a new folder in order to group all of your patterns together. For example, if you wanted to make a collection of patterns, or you can go straight to this new pattern icon, similar to the new layers icon that we have at the bottom of the layers panel. Just press on that. And as you can see, this also brings us to the box which says pattern name. So what we can do is just quickly name our pattern. Then all we have to do is press OK. And as you can see, a new icon has appeared on our patterns panel. And this is our pattern that we've created. If you can't see the panel, by the way, and you want to be able to bring that up, all you have to do is go to window and then make sure there is a tick next to the patterns option. So what we can do now is I'm just going to quickly get rid of this symmetrical brush that we have. So I'm just going to press V on my keyboard to go to the move tool. That's both for Windows and Mac, by the way. And then I'm going to quickly hide this layer because we no longer need that. And then what I'm also going to quickly do is just quickly get rid of the guides by pressing Command and H on my keyboard or Control and H for Windows. This doesn't mean that I've actually deleted the guides. They are still there. I've just hidden them for the meantime so we can actually see our canvas a bit more clearly. 
I'm also just going to quickly turn back on the background layer so we have something in the background for when we introduce our pattern. So all we have to do in order to actually use our pattern, we can go to the pattern in the patterns panel and all we have to do is hold and drag on the icon, drag it onto our canvas and as you can see it's now created a pattern field layer. So as you can see in the layers panel we now have this new layer with a mask on it so if you want to mask out your pattern only to specific areas that's already there for you. So one immediate thing to notice is that your pattern will always go to the same scale as which you created it. So obviously the pattern that I created was at 1080 by 1080, which means that when I introduce the pattern back again, it's also going to be reproduced at 1080 by 1080. But we can change this obviously, because if we want to be able to use patterns, we might want to be able to scale it up or down. So in order to do this, all we have to do is go to the patterns layer on the layers panel, go to the layer thumbnail, and then just double click on the layers thumbnail. And as you can see, this brings up the pattern fill window. So I'm just going to quickly move that here. So the first thing I want to focus on is the scale. So obviously the scale at the moment is 100%. So the 100% basically represents the original scale of the pattern. So once again, the 1080 by 1080. If I decrease that to let's say 50, it's going to be exactly half of that. And as you can see, we can now actually fill exactly four in because that would obviously be 540. And then we can just keep decreasing this number as far as we want in order to get as many of our patterns in. So as you can see, we can now create a whole background of our patterns repeated. What we can also do is actually angle our pattern. So if I just quickly hold on this slider and drag it down, as you can see, the angle of our patterns is now going in a different direction. I could also flip it or do whatever I want in order to create the pattern direction that I want. Now, in order to move the pattern, you can also move the pattern. All you have to do is actually go to the screen itself and hold and drag on the pattern itself. As you can see, it moves ever so slightly. It might take it a while to move because Photoshop is having to calculate this quite high res pattern into small areas. But if you also want to return to your original position, what you can do is press snap to origin. And as you can see, it's just repositioned it back to where it was originally. So if you move it into a position where you don't want it and you want to go back to where you started, that's the way to go. So once you're happy with that, all you have to do is press OK. And as you can see, that's how you create patterns in Adobe Photoshop. Now, one thing you might want is sometimes there to be spaces between your patterns. You can't actually do this from the patterns fill option itself. As you can see, you can always double click on that, by the way, if you want to bring up the pattern fill. So in order to actually create spaces between your patterns, what you have to do is if I just quickly cancel this and hide this layer and bring back up our original pattern layer, so if I just press Command and T in order to free transform or Control and T for Windows, and I can just move it roughly into the center. As you can see, if I scaled it down like this, got rid of the background and now saved it as a pattern, this space between the edges of our canvas and our pattern, providing that we actually haven't created a selection for our pattern to use, this space would then be included and actually become that boundary. So for example, I can quickly do that just by pressing on the new pattern. I'll just quickly save it like that. Then I can actually unhide the pattern layer that we had, double click on that, you can go to this drop down and select the second pattern that we created. And as you can see, there's now a gap between all of our patterns. And this is basically because it's taking that space into account. One other final thing to point out is when you're creating a selection in order to define your pattern, the feather has to be at zero. So if you're confused as to why the define pattern option under edit isn't available, it's probably because your selection has a feather. Great, so those were the fundamentals of how to create patterns in Adobe Photoshop. I hope that helped and you can now create all sorts of cool patterned backgrounds. If you're interested in learning how you can draw shapes in Photoshop using the pen tool, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. Also remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and also do subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Photoshop tutorials in the future.